In a previous quick tip, we went over how to use my blend take script to seamlessly blend between the override values of two selected takes. But we don't have any way to distinguish between each take other than using the file name. So what we're going to do now is go in and show the text here that was in the file. And instead of the text that is currently in here, what I want to do is actually fill it with the current take name. So all I have to do in order to accomplish this is go ahead and create a new Expresso tag. And the take system has one node available currently, and that is in the Expresso logic section, and it's the override node. And you can use this, you actually can uh, feed it values for each individual take that exists in your scene and dynamically feed the values that way. But I think uh, what I'm going to use it for here is to simply take the current take name as a string and feed it into my text object. So we'll just go ahead and take my text and I'm going to grab the text value itself and drop that into the Expresso. And I'm going to take the current take name and output it into the text field. And now you can see that we have iterations 100. If I switch my take, iterations equals 20, stiffness equals 0.2, and so on. So that's a quick example of what you can do with the override node within the Cinema 4D Release 17 Expresso Editor.